Keep it sick, baby, I'm never lacking All my ballets just vibe and relax When I was down bad, you was absent Now all my hoes back to her ass The streets is rough, keep it ratchet Catch her up, get it poppin' like matches I remember hoes, they want me back then Tryna fuck the first night, no romance BB shining and light, they be dancing. Yeah, keep me a pistol, can't panic Yeah, this right, so lifestyle you can't manage Yeah, I'm getting real, but feel gigantic And I'm sippin' that dirty, that dirty Free my dog, he got murdered, so murder Keep a stick, cause emergencies hurt Talk that boss life, I know that you yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, who yeah. was that? Listen, man, that's Young Cinco, man. Mamba Cinco. Okay. I mean, Bully, man. Listen, man, he ain't playing no games, man. Okay. Listen, but dig this. You're now tuned into me, 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 a lot of times you be wanting some physical attention, man. No, I don't. Why, why I tell you sliding up on me Because I keep saying. telling you the same shit why, put every your, week. Put your hands down. Don't you talk to me with your hands. You introduce you. Don't talk to me with your hands. And you introduce Dev fucking please nasty. Please don't talk to me with your hands. Don't introduce don't, me, don't, don't nigga. Talk. I don't give a fuck about that I'm old saying, school I'm jail saying. shit. I'm telling you. Don't put your hands down fuck when you're talking to me, man. What's wrong with you, nigga? Put your hands down. Fuck your hands down when you're talking to me. All right. Over there is our producer, a.k.a. the the one... The, the background porn star, oh, Dev Nasty. The Nasty one. Of the Nasty Boy Productions. Oh, nasty a, Boy Productions. He was telling me, yeah, well, I was ready to start a porn company. Nasty Boy Productions. I said, oh, that sounds a little spicy. He said, I, don't, he I, said, I don't know what type of movies they miss. He said MVP. I mean, I said, I don't know what type of movies it is. Yeah, and this uh, this Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Springfield Hyundai. Listen, one thing about Springfield Hyundai, they always trying to start new programs and help people out, help you build your credit up. They trying to get, listen, man, at the end of the day, Springfield Hyundai, listen, they don't approve credit, they approve people. You dig what I'm saying? You just filed for bankruptcy. You go in there the next day, they're going to hook you up, man. They're trying to hook people up in all types of ways. Listen, I'm telling you right now, look at me. You want a car? Any car. Go to Springfield Hyundai and you saying to yourself, oh, my credit not go. As soon as you go there, I need you to hook up with somebody. Walk in there be like. So hold on. So you're just saying if you go there, your credit not good. What if your credit is 400? I don't give. A, I don't care if it's two hundred. You was right, you walking, listen, you listen, was racing. I don't give up. <laughs> I don't care. Listen, I don't care if it's two hundred. You feel that passion in listen, about Springfield? I don't Hyundai. care. I don't care if it's two hundred. <laughs> listen, you're walking to Springfield Hyundai. You, you know, just say if you like me. See, like me, I might be walking and I might whistle. <laughs> you walk in there. Uh, excuse me. Uh, do anybody know backdoor Bobby? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's going on? I'm Bobby. Hey, how you doing? You got the you're Springfield like, Hyundai. Oh, you got the Springfield Hyundai. He, you going there, you walking. Is Bobby here? Hey, I'm Bobby. Oh, is you, is you B, is you, is you BB, B? Huh? What, what is your name? No, no, is you BDB? Backdoor Bobby? Hey, yeah, that's me. I'm Bobby. What's going on? Because Bobby be like this. Hey, 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 hey. So you go in there. Hey, excuse me. I'm trying to get a car. I don't have no credit. So, uh, I don't have no money. So, I got a job. Yes. Can I get a car? Yes. Why they call you backdoor Bobby? That's none of your business. <laughs> oh, no, because I just was wondering, because that name a little spicy, Bobby, but they call you backdoor Bobby, so I, I respect that. Is you going to help me get a car, even though your name's spicy? Shut up. I know people. My name Bobby. I, mean, I heard his name backdoor Bobby, honestly, because he said you walk in you the walk front in the door, you're going to walk out you the gonna back. You're going to drive out the back. No, I was just wondering, because your name backdoor Bobby, you work for Springfield. I didn't know if this was a movie or you really was backdoor Bobby. I don't know. But listen, I need a car. Okay, you get a car. Next thing you know, sit down. I got you. Fill the paperwork out, get the car. You're out of there. Springfield Hyundai. That's what it's about. But what's really important is this. If your credit is messed up, it's not about that. Every, you know, good people make bad, bad decisions in life. I did. Oh, okay. Sometimes we get, you know, we get them credit cards, get all that stuff. We, once you get that, you start going crazy. Ah, I got money. It's free. Ah, <laughs> make it ring. You do everything with the money. Then you, got, you look around, your credit hit. <laughs> you just didn't know. <laughs> But you want to get a car, go to Springfield Hyundai, man. Check them out right now, 8449 Drive Now. And guess where it's at? Springfield, Pennsylvania. Okay. Right outside of Philadelphia. You go there, they're going to hook you up. Ask for Backdoor Bobby, and he's going to walk up. And as soon as you go in there, you ask for Backdoor Bobby, you get a purchase, they're going to give you a free pair of iPods. You know, all that type of stuff. AirPods, not iPods. I'm tripping. I don't know what I'm talking about sometimes, but that's cool. But Backdoor Bobby do. <laughs> 
Backdoor, why your name Backdoor by me? That's my name. Shut up. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the number again? 8449 Drive Now, Springfield Hyundai. Okay. Let's get into this man Osworth game. I'll be right there. When a woman's pregnant, right? They tell them, don't use drugs. What don't you mean? Use drugs. What you mean? They ain't supposed to use drugs. Right, you, you don't can mess the baby cigarettes. up. Don't, yeah, smoke don't smoke cigarettes. cigarettes. Don't drink. Don't don't use drugs. You can mess the baby up, right? Mm-hmm. But as soon as a woman go into labor, that water that that, that waterfall bust. Oh my goodness! It's time! It's time! Yeah. And that head start poking out, start puncturing that goddamn vagina, and they start feeling that pain. Mm. The first thing they wanted some drugs. Give me some fucking drugs. That's how two was. <laughs> Give me the drugs. But the baby's still in there. Mm-hmm. So I don't get what you're going at. What do you mean? That so that means mothers are, are taking drugs while the baby is still in the the womb before the baby comes out. So if the doctor told you not to do that and you do that, if your mother didn't have you naturally. Are you a, a drug baby? No, you mm. got to, in order to be a crack baby, you had to be smoking crack or something. Well, like they, ain't, they ain't had to do crack. They do, what's that? That's like a relaxed thing they give them. That's like a perk. But is so that a, drug? Epi, is that a drug? You're talking about oh, epidural. That's not a drug. Epidural. 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 That's not a drug. What? That's not a drug. Are you out of your mind? What you mean? I'm, I, I don't understand. Where, I, I, where are you going at? Okay, they get, they want the drug so it could ease the pain. It's like a perk medicine, I guess. It's like a, a perk. Like some super shit. Yeah, it's like a perk 80. Yeah. So you're a perk baby. Perk. Yeah. So they perk, so I guess if perk your mom 90. didn't have you naturally, you're she actually baby. had drugs before you came out. So is the drugs the in the vagina? Dr- before they cut you, drugs in your system, you're a perk baby. So, Absolutely. So I'm, I mean, just just something to think about. That's something I was in the house. I was smoking. I was like, damn. Listen, but listen. What if I you wonder if <laughs> like if my mom? So had so me so what type of babies was us? If we got like, what's the name of that shit? Epidural. You epidural baby. No, if your but mom, no, no. But if your drug. mom took epidural, no. If you saying perks right now is a perk baby. I had to That's be, like perks. You got to be a crack I, it, baby. Back in listen. the day, it wasn't perks. It was crack. Crack baby. Because <laughs> you get high. Do it make you uh, high. Do uh, it make it high. You, uh, yeah, yeah it nah. High. If the baby was like, it, like, you know how later on in the June, like if the baby's like 30 minutes I'm away, it's still in their system. I don't think I'm. And epidural, uh, the epidural, that got to be like some like form of like, like damn near like a Percocet, right? Could it, yeah. could, it, could it affect you in life? The, well, that's arguable. But when the baby come out, sometimes they got to be uh like brought back or... Like they'll have seizures and shit because like listen, that. Listen, a lot of people off the off the perks because of the epidural. If it's too late and when they're about to deliver it, because did, that's still did your mom have you co- natural? Nah, <laughs> I knew you was a perk baby. I knew it. <laughs> I probably was natural. <laughs> nah, you are, you definitely wasn't natural, nigga. Let me call my mom. I know you were not natural. Jack was smoking weed. <laughs> nigga, was you natural? Yes, of course. <laughs> yeah, fuck out here. Of course, Yo, ain't no mom. Mom, yeah, let me ask you a question. All right, I was born. How, how many pounds was I? All right, let me ask you a question. You when you had when you when you was in labor, did you uh you just had me naturally, didn't you? Yeah, I had all three of y'all natural. I ain't never had no C section No, that ain't got nothing to do with natural mom. I'm talking about Did you have did you did, hey Jack, let me ask you a question, Jack. Did you have a um did you take an epidural? No. I'm a legend. <laughs> you, I'm a legend. You didn't. No. I ain't know you was a perk baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You was a perk baby. Hold on, hold on. I did. So you had him natural? She's a legend. So he not, so he not no perk baby. I ain't no. Hell no. So I was just naturally, but, but I'm not crazy. But Jack, you wasn't smoking no weed either or drinking no hen. I never, I never drank no, I don't smoke weed. Mom, did you, mom, mom. What you say? I never smoked no weed. Well, who 40s was them in the, in the refrigerator growing up? You know what? Let me tell you something. Gilly, don't believe that shit. No, I'm just saying, mom, mom, mom. It was a lot of it was four, it was forties, and then I was, I. Who who drank forties? Not me. I'm not saying, mom. I didn't. I didn't say you drunk them. You probably, you know, uh, I don't know. Damn, Jack, it, this is hard to believe, Jack. You didn't have. I'm no, a natural baby. He was a natural baby. He wasn't no goddamn y'all, perk baby. Listen, Gilly, I was watching y'all this morning. I was laying in the bed and I was watching y'all talking to the chick Pink. Oh, Pinky. Pinky. 
Okay, yeah. Listen to this. Let me tell you about your boy. He been looking at, at smut books ever since he was six years old. Mom, mom, you're telling little, you to be a rat, on, nigga. Shut the fuck up, That's nigga. right. You rat, mom. Shut up, nigga. <laughs> mom, you rat. Hold on, so, 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 Jack. No, I'm, going, I'm playing the speaker. When we was on Courtland Street, when Linda lived across the street, we was on 10th and Courtland back going. in the day. Yeah. And we was watching. I was listening to the music. I kept saying, why does it sound like it's covered? So I go to the speaker. Mom, and you're cousin, right. He hiding books. Smart books. I say, Stevie. He said, my mom. They ain't mine. Wait, so. I was trying to figure out where. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm you and Steve is right. I'm trying to figure out where my $20 went. Wait a minute. I'm playing with Steve. Come and find out. He even took $20 with the school, sport, and everything. I tell him, and go and find smart books. Wait, so, so so Jack, you found smut books at six years in old? In the speaker, in the speaker. So this, wait, so he had it's smut crazy. books at six years old? So, I ain't trying, listen to me real good. I know my son got a He's whole right, lot mom. of fucking game. He got game now when it come to that. But he was jerking off at six, Jack. I, I'm, I'm done. Uh, you done? I love you, son. <laughs> I love He's you. He's a rat, mom. Mom, you ratted on me. <laughs> All right, love you, Jack. He's a rat. <laughs> He's a rat. She ratted on me, wow. man. Wow. <laughs> wow, we get something extra. Yo, we look. Yo, yo, yo. She yo. ratted on me. Oh, okay. She ratted on hey, me. Hey, listen, 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 <laughs> listen. Okay. So your mom might have been natural. I'm natural. I'm cool. But the nigga that shot you up and your mom was on drugs. Had to be. Who, my dad? Had to be. No, he probably had a line or two. Had to be. I don't know. But he probably had a line of twenty. <laughs> but no, man. See, see, my whole thing is like this. People gotta understand. I was it was art. Growing up, I, I ran into the smut industry. It was art, man. I just was looking at stuff. I don't know, you know, I'm not gonna I ain't got no comments. You got caught with smut books at six, bruh. I didn't get caught with they wasn't on me, they was in the speaker. But he was stashing them like contraband. Like he literally <laughs> had them shits already in the speaker. He was in the speaker. You was <laughs> unscrewing speakers. Hey, first of all, first of no, all, we, first of all you just we know the nigga, you ain't nobody out here busting a nut at six. <laughs> so he was just practicing and shit. He was just he was just sheet shaking for no reason. I was reason. trying to get in the game. <laughs> he was <laughs> I was trying to get in the you game. You was trying to sub and put me in, coach. <laughs> I was trying to get in the game early, man. He no. He the first kid that had blue balls at six. <laughs> I was trying to listen. I was trying to get in the game, man. I had to get my name out there. Shit. <laughs> I think I had blue balls at six, man. Yeah. Let me ask y'all a question. What's the top three things you can't do in the hood? Oh, that's easy. You can't wear no fucking wave cap outside. What? You can't wear no wave cap outside with a white beater. That's a violation. That's violation shit. Yeah, that's any not you, any whole oh, newsflash. Any of you cats out there nah. wearing wave class outside to the store, <laughs> white beaters on, you want some nut shit. That's a that's a Philly rule. No, that's no, that's rules anywhere. No, that's it's not shit. No, it's not. <laughs> that's that's dudes, a Philly no, rule. Because you dudes be disrespectful with these fucking wave hey, cats. Wait, wait, you can't tell you, a jersey nigga. Yo, yo, listen, you, you listen, listen, listen. At the end of the day, nigga, I, listen, you're not allowed to come outside with the wave cap. Wait, wait. And listen, listen, and you know what's a double don't, don't violation? Don't tell DR, don't you, tell DRD that. Listen, you know what's a double violation? What? Is when you had a nerve to let the wing hang. And you walk down the street and the wing blown. That's how people want it. They want to drop top with the with that's the cake shit. blown. That's Wait, hold shit. on. So so the, so the extended wing that's is super nut shit. shit. That's super nut shit. <laughs> the extended you gotta, wing. You, you do it because dudes be comfortable with it. You would just walk to the to the corner store with the wave cap with the white beat on. Yo, you want some nut shit? Every time I see people like that, I look at them like, you just doing disrespect the fucking environment like that. <laughs> this is the thing I will tell you. I got into a back and forth with Gil over people wearing the wave cap with the hat on top. You can't do that. Shit. I searched the internet thoroughly. He was one hundred percent correct. I couldn't find one person from Philly with that combination besides one guy. Okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Hold up. Wait, hold on. Because niggas from Philly don't rock. Do rags with the motherfucking hat on. No, no, you proved that. That's what I'm saying. It was only one. This nigga gonna go search some shit. He he searching everybody for do rags with <laughs> yeah, the hat crazy. on top. No, 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 no. That, that ain't no Philly shit. We don't Cassidy do the hustler. What? Cassidy. Cassidy, Cassidy, the Cassidy been in New York for a long fucking time. Cassidy the hustler was the only they nigga I could find. And then Cassidy got down with motherfucking uh the Rough Riders yeah, too. They do, so they, different he like them. he like a he like a Philly slash New York nigga. Like he he Philly, but he got some New York. You ways. can't be weird. listen, man. Because you, you know what I mean? the baggy listen that's a double violation. The baggy hat, <laughs> the baggy hat with the Dewey on. Mm -mm. 
Yeah, no, that's a double bullet. Bullet. Especially when you got your hat. First of all, you see how my hat is. You're spacing that motherfucker. <laughs> if you, you got space in, in, in your hat. And it's just, no. Now, now I will say Philly dudes did have the hats with the big spaces. No, no. You had that nah, shit. Nah, nah. I y'all saw did. you, nigga, nah. with a do rag I used to watch them, I used to watch them rap battles with like Reed Dollars, the okay, hat drop okay, all over their eyes and hold stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you're right, you're right about that. I used to watch that. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. He had a fucking pot on his head, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he had a do rag with a pot sitting on his shit too. With a yeah, nasty, uh, ass. Yeah, nasty <laughs> ass joint. With the embleezy lean. You know? <laughs> wave caps, man. Don't do that shit. That's a. Di- I don't care about a lot of shit. I don't care about a lot of shit out here. I know one thing that's a violation in the hood. <laughs> what? Tim's with no leather at the top. The butt naked. <laughs> Yo, where do niggas even buy those? No, that, that's a, oh, that's a violation. The butt oh. naked is a violation. Oh, hold on. What time frame is you talking about? I don't give a fuck what time oh, frame hold it is. Fuck up. Hold up, hold nigga, up. Nigga, butt hold naked's hold up, hold up, always hold up, hold up, been a violation, Those was my Jones back in the day when I was young. Because you's a nut ass nigga. Hold on, hold on. You's a nut ass nigga. Where did you buy them at? Listen, huh, listen. I go Burt. Listen, let me explain something to you. Tim's with no leather at the top always been some nut shit. That was a new rule. That was new. That shit came. Listen, I was in jail when it came out. Tim's with no leather at the top. That was a new rule. Butt naked's yeah, always listen, been listen, nut shit. Listen, listen. Hold if, on, are if, those if, the TIMs? Are a those law. the TIMs? Because you know they got the, the fake joints. No, that you they talking real Tim's. No, they real Tim's. But, but they let me explain naked. something to you. Let me explain something to you. If a law come in effect and you committed a certain crime before the. Fuck, it wasn't no crime. That law came no, in effect. No, that was when a crime, was nigga. That wasn't no crime. That was but a that, fucking back crime, in the day, nigga. That was a crime, nigga. Early nineties, but that's a crime. Was, okay, was, An- another a, another thing you did that was a crime. But was cool. Another thing they, another thing you did was a crime. Summertime, ninety five. You had a slick jumper on with no shirt. You fuck. <laughs> I never had it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Duh. Yo, he probably did. Did Pop do that? Did Pop do that? Did Pop do that? This nigga lied. Hold on. Did Pop do that? Wait, he lied on me. He lied on me. He lied on me. You don't I remember. He lied you don't on me. remember me, Doug, and them niggas running at your ass. Slick jumper. Doug, you had a slick jumper. Shirt on. Shirt on. Yo, that's not like Tupac. He lied on me. I never did that shit. I never did that shit. I never did that. Death on everything I love. I never did that. You lied on me. Yo, my mom right there. Yo, mom told me you were obsessed with Tupac my rep was, was doing shit my like rap, that. My rep was on the line. Please don't no, do that to me. No, don't fuck my name on, up. No. I never, a slick jugger <laughs> with no shirt on. <laughs> you know, summer 95. Summer 95. This nigga's lying. Listen, right before the blizzard of the 96. I never, listen, I never did that. A slick jumper. <laughs> right before the blizzard of the 96. Nigga was an R&B singer. Yo, yeah. Dev, I didn't do that shit. I swear. I pull up the pick the nigga up. I did not do that shit. He come out the crib back then. He was skinny too. He come out the crib all wanky. He jump on with no shirt. I never did no shit like that. You got to wear shirts outside. I said, cause that's not where the fuck is you going? Like that's on like, the line of spice. You look like a nigga off of silk. Like you look like one of the silk band members. Like what come the- on, man, you can't do that. He come lying, on, bro. Like, you know you had to jump up with no fucking motherfucking like a shirt room, on, bro. You're lying on me. I didn't do that. I would Summer never do that. Summer 95, I'll never, never forget that. that. Listen, that, I'll be done if I done that. I can never do shit like that. You know that. how I knew. You know how I remember that that, that, that that summer so vividly. You did multiple. You had multiple. Infractions that some of what that. The fuck was, you mean infraction? I ain't. That, that was. I was about me. to disown you as my cousin. You Cameron, not, Cameron, Cameron did, did that by the way. Cameron did Summer that uh, butt naked under with the jumper. Yeah, 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 that's who he wanted to be like. Cameron, yeah, Cameron wasn't even out then. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> he wasn't even. out His music ain't even come out yet. What is he talking about? Ninety five. Cameron was. Oh, he, so you trying to say Cameron wanted to be like you? That's what you're. I'm not saying it because I ain't. I never done it. I never done it. I never done it. I never done it. You said Cameron seen you with the jump on first. I never done it. Confessions of fire. I never done that. I never done that shit in my life. I'm telling you. That was a classic album too. That shit was classic. That album right there. I was in jail when they came out. And Cameron had that on on the cover. Yeah, yeah. Cam had that. He did. He did. Butt naked on under that joint. The chest out. That was crazy. Just for the record, Cam, that was kind of spicy. That was crazy. That was a little Jamaican ish. A rude boy, me on the dimes, grow off the ass. That was crazy. <laughs> but but you definitely, summer 95, I will never forget that. I mean, shit, what about man. snitching? Snitching? What? What you mean? You said the top th- three things you can't do in the hood. I'm oh, not no, gonna, no. That, that don't count no more. Oh yeah, I was about to say that was my error. That don't count. That was our. That is these shit niggas count. now. These niggas. No, no, no. Hold hold them. Let me just clarify. It's these not, niggas ain't. It's, t- it's a mindset niggas, now. It's a mindset now because it prove it, it's not just an error thing. No, it because, is. No, no, fuck no, no. Niggas were snitching in our era, but yes. they not like this shit. No, no, ho, ho, ho. It's not just, listen, hold up. You, <coughs> you, you looking at the streets, it's not just the young boys. This dude's from our area, too, that's getting busy now because they're no, like, okay, I ain't okay, going but back. What I'm fuck saying you is, talking about? But what I'm saying is, listen, the difference is when 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 I was a young, young, when a dude snitched. You get you get banned from the- you, When they he came to, home, he, 
he didn't come home to the hood that he was was, was initially in. No, that nigga came home and went to um, Scranton Wilkesbury, or that nigga came home went to York, Pennsylvania. Or that nigga came home and went to motherfucking Atlanta. No warm welcome. Or that nigga came home and went to motherfucking Pottstown. Or fucking Redden. He ain't that nigga didn't come to fuck home and go back to Erie Avenue and hang with the same niggas he was hanging with before he went to jail and told on niggas. Now, let's be for real. These niggas, they rat. Us three was hanging together. That nigga rat on him and then say, nigga, I ain't rat on you. You right, you ain't rat on me. We, come on, we still cool. That's crazy. These niggas is crazy out here. Wallow called home from prison one day and said, cuz, everybody you know, tell them get the fuck out the streets, man. For real, man, this shit ain't the same no more. This shit, I'm, I was, I'm, I'm sitting in the cell, this young boy rat. I asked the young boy how you do that. Young boy, damn, the young boy shit, nigga, you old head, you playing out a book that don't nobody read no more. You hey, playing in a book that got rules in it that don't nobody play by no more, old head. You better step your game up, nigga. Mm. He basically told Rollo, nigga, you better do a jailhouse investigation and rat and get the fuck up out of here yourself, That never would have happened. Why do y'all think that is? Why you think that shift Because happened? the streets, let me explain something to you about the streets. The officials, the, you know, when you get on the game, any game, it's officials. They make mm -hmm. sure the rules is intact. A lot of officials, the referees of the street culture, they went to jail. Some of them dope fiends. Some of them got killed. A lot of men was taken off the streets. So it's not just a young cat in the streets don't have leadership. They don't have it in the home. Their father's not there. So a lot of times, there's no direction. When I came into the street as a young cat, I had a big brother. I had old heads that gave you the rules and regulations. You had that manual. Right. And I'm not talking about a physical manual. It was just a game that they gave you. Now, a dude would just say one day, I, wanna be, I don't want to be looked at like as a nut, so I got to get in the streets. Because dudes in our community think, if you're not a street nigga... You're a nut. You're a sucker. And I had to tell this one young boy some, some of this brilliant shit. He was like, man, wow, I ain't trying to be a sucker. I ain't trying to be a nut. I said, uh, what are you talking about? No, man, that's the only, I ain't going to be able to win in life being a sucker. I said, sucker. So you talking about a street mentality. He having the street mentality in the real world. I said, uh, do me a favor. Could you look on, you know, the Forbes magazine? He said, yeah, that's where all the rappers. And No, I said, that's rappers be having a section on there. But the Forbes list, all the top billionaires in the world, they all suckers. You're on Instagram. The people that own Instagram, they're suckers. Everybody that win in life is a sucker. So what the fuck is you talking about? All mm. the great people is is not tough. This right, this right. I gotta be a part of something that don't really care about them. this street thing. I'm tough. That shit don't mean nothing in the grand scheme of life. And what you say, all the people that's that's great at life is suckers. Yeah, basically. No, what you saying about, in I'm their talking about, view? Well, on, I'm wait, talking wait, about, wait, I'm wait, talking wait, about wait, in the view of a right, street person. Right, right. I'm a street person. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at your sucker ass nigga. Yeah, he's another ass nigga. <laughs> Listen, so so what I'm saying is they don't understand you anything. Suck ass I gotta be nigga tough. out here. I don't, don't want to be out here progressive nigga. I don't want to be suck you. Don't winning. be out here progressive nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's you didn't a go sad, back to jail, that's nigga. That's a sad thing. But though. that's what we're taught. You in, didn't in go the, back to jail, nigga. You ain't real. You progressive nigga. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, Gil, basically, Get these niggas is playing a ass. game on hard. They playing a game on impossible, and they don't even realize that's the game they playing. Yeah. You know how many niggas looking at you like this? Look at this old Uncle Tom suck ass nigga. Winning. Nigga. nigga doing him. Nigga. Nigga running around here getting 7,500 to speak for 30 minutes, old suck ass nigga. Yeah, you ain't, you, ain't, you ain't catching cases no more. You're not standing on the corner. You're not real. I'm 40. Why should I be running from the cops? <laughs> um. Look at they be like this. Look at this nigga with his Adidas sweatpants on and his head looking like a leather jacket. Me 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 you had, you had the strap. He had them. He had them on. Listen, Never seen listen, those. And you know what he did? He gave him the black and white. Hey. He, he, he had the white strap. But well, as we talk about, you know who he, not, who he was infatuated with as a kid? Go ahead, lie on me. Had a gang of sets. Oh. A gang of them. He lying on me. Come on, dude. He really lying on me. He lying on me, y'all. He lying on me, man. Kwame had a gang of polka dot sets. Fucking lying. I ain't never, he had, was, no, nigga, I ain't you, never had no polka dot. Nigga, you had he polka dot sets. He lying, nigga. He lying on me, y'all. You know you had the full lying. fit, nigga. He lying on me. I never did that. That was two I years before no the motherfucking jump. Was nigga. you fucking with Kwame like that, though? He's a legend. Nah, yo, listen. I put peroxide in my shit. Oh, you's another ass nigga. I did that shit when I was little, dog. I was 
was little as hell, bro. That shit was 80s, nigga. You know, we been together for some time. And there you I, go. It's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> right. Go ahead. Right. 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 Come on, dog. No, no, I was man. like nine years Express old. Express yourself. No, you shitting that ass out. I had the polka dots. Except you did, you nigga. You had yeah, the old set. You had the big yeah, polka dots, too. No, you lying ass, I had one shirt. You I had one shirt. One dog. What? Just one. I had one shirt. I had, come on, man. Just one shirt. I had a whole hookup. I'm like, damn. He lied. I had, he, I, that's it. I had one joint, man. He lied. Listen, I didn't have a bunch of shit, listen, man. Listen. You lying on me, man. It, it Easter came. Oh, he lied. <laughs> Come on, man. Let's start. Let's start, Easter man. Easter came. Let's start now, anybody shit. from Philly start who's a little older, for the kids who don't know, back when Easter used to come, right? <laughs> Niggas used to get dressed up and go to the zoo. For he Easter? <laughs> yes. He lied yeah. on me. He lied on me, y'all. Please. Listen, this yeah. dude is a liar. He's he, a habitual liar. Yeah. Who's ever listening listen. to this or looking at this listen. bad? It's like, he's, he's putting smut listen. on my name, no, man. No, listen. He's smutting my name we, out, man. We go we go to the zoo on Easter. He had this nasty <laughs> ass. He lied. He lied on me. <laughs> I swear he lied on he me. Had this nasty. He lied. I listen. Hey, listen. What? He had this nasty ass polka he lied dot on me, shirt man. on, and then he it was yellow and black. He tried to match him up with the the Magic Johnson covers. He lied he on me. The whole he lied on me. <laughs> the man lied on me, man. I ain't. I, you I, was I, an innovator. No, I'm he was saying. a nut. Ass nigga. <laughs> I was before my time. I he did been a chances. nut ass nigga. See, man. true fat. True, 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 true. I took fashion chances sometimes, but I didn't do that. <laughs> Talk. This nigga been a nut ass nigga for years. Yo, for real, man. man. I didn't do that, man. I'm this trying to tell you, man. This nigga's been a nut ass nigga for years. He Motherfucker's just getting a hold of you, man. He lying on me. Let's get into me and Osworth for game. Gilly, I need some game. So me and my girl broke up, but through the months we was trying to work it, work on us, but we kept fighting. I thought I was fucking. She thought I was fucking. I thought she was fucking. I wasn't. But grew tired of being accused. I felt it. I felt I was being. I felt I was being done. I, really I don't know what he said. I felt we was done. I guess because she was fucking. She told me time after time she wasn't. Kept accusing me. I grew tired, and I broke my number one rule and went through her phone. Lo and behold, <laughs> she fucked a nigga, a bitch. And recorded herself getting her pussy ate. Mm. When I questioned, she came out and she did not lie. I love her, Gills. Am I a nut if I take her back and try to look past and move forward with her? Well, <laughs> that's some. That's some. Let, let, let me try to break down what this nigga just said. So he said him and his woman was going back and forth. They accusing each other of fucking. Cause he just wrote some retarded shit, and um, basically he wasn't doing nothing. He thought she was doing something. He went through a phone. He found her with a nigga, a bitch, and a video of her getting her vagina. Ate. What the background look like? And that sounds. Go ahead and tell him yourself. <laughs> Just yeah, how long ago was that? Now, 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 one thing. Now, one thing I can guarantee, and one thing I'm one hundred percent assured. <laughs> Is you're scared to fuck the death of your woman. STD. So do you want to apologize right now? <laughs> Listen, man, keep going. Oh, yeah, I feel, yeah, okay. And, and I mean, I'm talking about sexy transmitters and steeds. We're talking about scared to death. STD. Absolutely, absolutely. How long ago? So, See, he trying to, so <laughs> your name ain't out there no more, Dev. Your name, name ain't dead. in the field no more, you Your shit played out. Hey, listen, so he wants to know if he's a nut, if he takes her back. Okay, let me just tell you this. Not only was your bitch cheating, but your bitch was being used. Mm. Your bitch is a, a used Chevy with 146,000 miles on it. Why can't she? Be because she didn't just creep off and, you know, had a little thing going on. No, she crept off and she was involved with another man and a woman. Yeah. So more than likely, they was together and they brought her in and used and abused her. Mm. Well, he so, didn't say they had a threesome. He just said, he said she, I caught her on tape with a guy, yeah, yeah. a girl, and she videoed herself getting her pussy ate. Yeah, it sounded like, yeah. So, 
to me, that sounds like the bitch is part of the Bloods. What that sound like to you? Mm. She gang banging. <laughs> <laughs> she got jumped in. No, and, and guess what gang she's part of? You don't know? Y'all, y'all don't know the gang culture? Tell me the gang. Treyway. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, oh, man. Man. <laughs> your bitch is getting used and abused man like then she's taping herself with a, another woman eating a box she's in there she's getting a she got she she eating pussy nigga slamming her from the back like that bitch is active man. yeah really yeah, yeah. You know, this ain't no, oh, I got a good girl, she fucked up. No, no, this bitch is like, sub me in. Yeah. I I, I want in. Like, yeah, she been doing that. Right, mm-hmm. right. This is this is her activities. Yeah. This is her festivities on the side. And if you, she ain't been, that was her wild life, and then she she just been fiending the whole time she was with you, waiting for you to slip up so she could go out there and join wrestling. Let me tell you something that I believe, man. A young whore. Ain't nothing but an old whore. <laughs> Waiting for <laughs> that the right nigga. Yet. No, no. A the young right opportunity whore, to get crazy. A young whore is ain't going to do nothing but turn into an old whore that just waiting on the right nigga to bring it out of him. Mm. That's all that happens. Let me tell you something. You Being a whore, that's something that's got to be in you. That's like, you got to be born with that shit. You was born a whore. Like, that shit didn't just come out of no. That's what you was born. That <laughs> no. was, you was destined to to take a lot of dicks to the face. <laughs> That's crazy. Do you agree with this, Wallow? <laughs> do you agree with that? Or do you believe it could be affected First of all, by the I home? agree that everybody is born to be who they is. Who you are who you are. You don't think the influence of what's going on in their house, their mom and all that type of shit will affect whether that shit happens to them? You don't think so? Yeah, yeah. So, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, to. hold on, wait, hold on, wait, hold on. So, I know many of people out here that grow up. Mom is on fucking drugs their whole life. They ain't never touch drugs. I mean, that's a fact. So, as people, I truly believe this, man. Only the strong survive, man. That's truly what I believe. I feel some people go through what they go through because internally they just not as strong as other people. I could agree with that. You feel what I'm saying? I never was the type that got mad that my motherfucking pop wasn't around when I was young. I wasn't one of them niggas. Oh, I hate that nigga. Fuck that nigga. I'm gonna kill that nigga. No, I just developed a sense of my kids will never feel like this. But see... I come from an era, though, where you had to be strong. Super strong. You had to be strong because I grew up with five, six, seven homies. None of them niggas' dads was around. That shit was normal to us. We talked about that. Right. Talked about that. So at the end of the day, I believe that a lot of people go through what they go through because they just not mentally as strong I mean, as they when, when it to comes be. to that subject, that particular thing, I disagree. We talked about that. He didn't know his, his dad wasn't there. His dad wasn't like next door. So that's different. Mm-hmm. That's totally different. So but, I think, I think, I think some people is just, your destiny is your destiny. Yeah. So do you think everybody uh, got a choice? I think that dude that asked you this already knows his answer. He knows the answer. And yeah. he probably already been back with her for years. This is an old story. Yeah, right. And then he just wanted to know, was he bugging for being uh, in the situation? I mean, at the end of the in. day, at the end of the day, that's your choice. You just asking me. I don't judge you. I, if that's what you choose to do, do it. I'm speaking from my standpoint. But do you think a lot of people, if that, I'm speaking from my that standpoint, go through this, go through this type of situation, <clears throat> right? They stay there because they just want to get the fuck back. What you mean? The fuck back. You know, a snitch back, fuck back. Um. And they just want, because a lot of people hold things like, I don't like to get played. No, I think most people. I don't people, feel like I got played. They no, want I think uh, most people stay there because, and this is the number one reason why most people stay in relationships. Give it to me. Through cheating, through 
through being unhappy, through all of the shit that's negative. They scared to start over. That's a that's scary. That's the scary, most scariest thing for everybody yeah. to start over. That's like, it. They scared like, to start over. I've been with this person. Uh, uh, and then especially, especially with women. You know why? Because, okay, I might have met you when when I was younger, right? Now, some years went by. I didn't kind of let myself go a little bit because I'm comfortable with you. You know all my flaws. You know I got the little leftovers on the side, my love handles. You ain't worrying about I scrape my pinky toe up. Well, fucking, you ain't worrying about I, I got a little eczema on my back, bitch back a little ashy. You, you know all my motherfucking vice versa. I know all your flaws. Mm -hmm. I know you only got three and a half inches. <laughs> Coming up short. You feel me? I know you really don't eat pussy as good as you think you do. You really crunch a munch on this pussy, nigga be killing a bitch. So now it's like, damn, I gotta start all over. I don't look how I look when I first nope. got that nigga. Mm. I got comfortable. I got comfortable. Now I'm damn near stuffed vacuum bag. Mm-hmm. I'm looking like a refrigerator in this And when I look like getting back in the dating game, trying now, to figure this out, I got to deal with all because, that shit. Because think about it. How many women do you see? Hit the gram. I'm single now. Now it's time to work on me. Bitch in the gym now. Um, yeah. Oh, oh. now, <laughs> now you want to work on you, huh? Yeah. You, no, got bitch, you ain't got no choice. You're shaped like a fold up Cheetos bag. <laughs> You're built like a square, bitch. You ain't got no choice. You feel what I'm saying? So that be really the main reason. And then a lot of men, let's be for real. Niggas is out here hitting a lottery when it come to these bitches. Like crazy. You see how many niggas is with women they don't deserve? Crazy. Because women just tired of being fucked over. So they like, fuck it, you, you the settler. You know how many niggas is happy that these bitches is settling? And then you got Ronnie Romance out here killing them. Oh, Ronnie Romance. No, Ronnie. No, no, not Ronnie Romance. Ronnie Finance is killing them. He killing them in Ronnie Romance. No, hey, no. These bitches don't want romance. These oh, bitches want finance. No, you got boys out here. <laughs> vicious stuntmen. Oh, fish, oh yeah, okay. Ronnie Romance stuntman. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a, fa you know, he fantasy. That's the fantasy, Matt. He created this unbelievable fantasy that you're going to live his life that you're not. Oh, okay. He blaze you. He glaze you. Uh, he <laughs> stay he, with you. <laughs> <laughs> did he how? He eat all the motherfucking kids. Ronnie Romance. Ladies, watch out for Ronnie Romance. <laughs> watch out for the double R. Coming to, coming to a city near you. Uh, Ronnie. <laughs> double R. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for the double R. <laughs> hey, hey. But then you got Ronnie Finance. Mm -hmm. You hear me? He's a nigga. That, but nigga Ronnie Finance bought his way in. You mm -hmm. hear me? Ronnie Finance, old Ronnie Finance, first line when he met her is, I'm saying, I'm like, you know me. I'm trying to upgrade you. Like. ATM. Yeah, you know I mean. Sponsor. Yeah, you know I mean. I'm trying to, you know. Hi, I'm Keisha. Hi, I'm Keisha, and I'm sponsored by Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, and Mike. I'm sponsored by Ronnie Finance. Ronnie Finance. RF. Or have you been financed lately? <laughs> <laughs> Get with Ronnie Finance. <laughs> He'll change your life, your body, and your world. But let me tell you about all the niggas that's financing them. <laughs> she ain't fucking you. You know what she fucking. <laughs> she fucking boo-boo from the block. No, 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 no. She fucking boo-boo. Yeah, mm -mm, boo-boo still mm -mm, blazing. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You know who she fucking? The leather seats in, them, in that Bentley. <laughs> she love them leather seats when she sit on them off. She ain't fucking you. You feel me? And one thing about all you niggas that bought your bitch... And they ain't caught you, bitch. You ain't gonna never really know if she truly love you. That's always gonna be something in your mind. Because we all people at the end of the day, and we all gotta look at ourselves in the mirror at the end of the day. In your mind. And you always gonna wanna know is, does she really love me? Or does she love the fact that I made her life easier? Or does she, or was she just tied up with, or was she just tired of the niggas that she really loved? And then I came into her life and made her life easier, so she just accepted me. Or is she on break? I'm the accepted nigga. Mm -hmm. Acceptance, that's a new movie. 
acceptance about niggas that buy bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I need, hey, listen, man. I'm a talented nigga. I need to write movie listen, scripts man. too. I need to do it all. I'm playing Ronnie Phone Finance. No, you're not, nigga. That's Denzel, <laughs> nigga. Denzel, he, we, how the fuck we got a budget to get Denzel? No, the fuck is you talking about? No, I'm suddenly, so, first of all, you think I'm, you, you think you're going to be the lead actor? I'm being a fucking lead actor. <laughs> when the fuck you act, though? That's like, I, could be I went to acting school in jail. As soon as he gets the hair cap, he could be, he could be, be Denzel. Anybody. I could be, be Denzel. Denzel. Oh, yeah, they did tell me you did, they did. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Nah, they did tell me. I did get the call. This nigga was talented from the prison. He was the head actor in the prison play. You fucking lied. You lied Hold on. <laughs> and they said he fucked it up. I ain't going to lie. All the, all the real niggas call home said he fucked it no, up. No, he lied And guess what it was the remake of? <laughs> what? Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> he lied. They said he, they said he fucked that joint up. They said <laughs> this nigga's a hater, man. Yo, he lied on me. He lied yo, on me, man. Yo, <laughs> yo, <laughs> he said yo, you fucked it up. How you kept like, going through the out like, outfit, or <laughs> running through the jail. <laughs> yo, <laughs> <laughs> and they had inmates playing kids and shit. Oh shit, <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, this nigga's a nut. He lied on me, man. Oh, and they nigga did a prison play where he played Mrs. <laughs> Delphi. <laughs> this nigga lying on me, man. Hey, hey, you all right, though? Yeah, I'm cool, man. This nigga lying. <laughs> That's fucked up, man. <laughs> this motherfucker's lying. <laughs> hey, I ain't see that one coming, man. Yeah. No, I'm just telling you what all the niggas. No, they Doug lied. Low call home. Yeah. Even your brother Steve called home. Steve I mean, you ain't gonna believe what this nut ass nigga did. I said, <laughs> what? Run some peace to cuz. I said, what the nigga? It's a nigga in the sky. Nigga in the prison play. I said, cuz, ain't nothing wrong with prison that. Play. Listen, listen. I was like, that's how crazy prison play. That's wild. He said, he said he the lead actor in the prison oh, play. Man. But I didn't see nothing wrong with it. So I'm like, cuz. I'm like, cuz, he just, you know, he just, you know, he just, you know, occupying his time while he in there. Cuz he said, fuck no. You know what the play is? I said, what? He said, Miss Doubtfire. I said, wait, wait. <laughs> And low playing the lead. Low playing Miss Doubtfire. This nigga's a liar. I said, damn, man. Rest in peace to my fucking cuz, man. The real one, man. Let me ask y'all a question. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the real one. A prison play. <laughs> That could be a, that could be a show on uh, one of these stations. Prison no, plays. Yeah, no, for real. And they just, they just show yeah. plays with different yeah, prisons around the country. Let me tell you, killers all in here. Killers. They 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 tune in. We're we're live. We're coming live. The greatest for a prison is they're singing the Christmas carol. They're singing. You got killers all in there. <laughs> San Quentin. Rump a bum bum bum. Hi, my name's Bobby. All that dumb shit. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chucky. <laughs> hey, hey, let me ask y'all a question, man. Cause y'all niggas about to have me cry in this motherfucker. Prison play. Let me ask. <laughs> That's crazy shit. But it really goes there, shit like that. Go ahead, man. Yeah, I know you was a part of it. I'm trying to play man. that shit off, nigga. <laughs> I'm with this hey, drama, huh? Hey, let me I ask y'all what's worse. Prison. Let me ask y'all what's worse. A woman who, her and her partner go through it, right? Mm -hmm. they, they argue, they fuss, they fight, they... He decide, I don't want to be in this no more. I'm done. I can't take this shit. And the woman gets mad and says, okay, you ain't seeing your child no more. Mm. That shit's over, pussy. It's <laughs> terrible. Go ahead. Like, you don't, you, me and you ain't together. You and your fucking child ain't together. We a package deal, nigga. You know what you signed up Damn, for. Damn, we a package. Fuck is wrong. You get your intent. We. You get your intent letter and your signed letter to Michigan, nigga. You you knew what the fuck you was going. Or a man that just say, "Oh, you pregnant, bitch? That's on you." Mm. But you know you the father. I think the what's the name? The worse? woman. I'm the woman. The way woman worse. is way worse. Way worse. You know why? Because let me just say this. You got pregnant, right? You got you got you could terminate this baby. Damn. This baby is. I'm just saying that's the reality of it. This baby. Listen, listen. Let me say. Okay. okay. I'm just doing cold killer. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm not saying you could terminate. Wait, 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 all right. We ain't yeah. going to talk about terminating the kids saying, like they fucking roaches or shit. I'm not Call saying. Terminex in. Get no, these no. That's exterminate. 
Oh, I'm saying like oh. it could be a termination on the. Oh, oh my the, fault. Whatever. So same, now same. he read a little bit in prison. <laughs> yeah, I was a scholar in there. You know, everybody think they're smart in prison. That's deep. But listen, they actually are. But listen, now you mean to tell me, and it's a lot of dudes out there going through this, and then they do that. You ain't seen a baby, and then slam their name. He don't take care of his kid. That shit is really happening out there. We always hear the woman's side all through social media. Dudes ain't this. They ain't that. Niggas need to take care of their kids. They buying stuff. But we don't hear that side of the girl. That's, you're, you're blocked from your kids and I'm slamming your name. He don't take care of his kids. You need to be work. Every time you're doing something in life, if you're growing, you get a new job promotion, you're starting a business, you're shining, whatever. He, yeah, he looked like. And all her girlfriends saying, he, don't, he need to take care of his kids. You don't know that she said about the package deal? You, you didn't hear about the package deal program? Mm. You, you didn't hear about that, what she said. Mm. She's upset that he want to move on in his life, mm-hmm. relationship-wise. He didn't say he didn't want to be in his child life, but right. you made the decision for him and say, you're done. Right. And so the whole time. You're done. The whole time, the bitch is DHS. Oh, she she lit DHS program? Dickhead status. Oh, yeah, DHS, dickhead status. Yeah, I, for real. Yeah, because she's taking a father. She's, she's not only taking a father from her kid, but then she's also... Painting a picture uh, of this dude yep. in a different light, so that's why she's like double wrong. And imagine, like if a dude walk away and he want to be a fucked up nigga, he chose his destiny to look like a fucked up dad. She's choosing this man's destiny to and, look like a fucked up. But yeah, at the end she, of the day, the, the, the flip side of that is at the end of the day, though, the the she chose exactly what the guy chose. What you mean? She just chose. So so okay, no. The, the, wait wait. The guy chose. Not to be in a child's life on his own. Right. She chose not to let the guy be in the child's life. So, so wait, wait, wait. Hold and on. abortion phase. Hold on. You see, no, you no, 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 no. That's not what after, saying. I'm saying after she had the baby. Yeah, you got a willing father, and we, she's we, removing the father that's willing. Right. That's right. worse. Yo, you, no, right. And, and you but slamming his name is, what I'm in the public, is, and you probably slamming his name to his child. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, she made the same decision. That he made. He chose not to see his child. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Bam. She chose not to let the child see you. Right. That's kind of the same. No, it's Can even, I finish? I, but I, I feel you. Okay, that's kind of the same decision. What makes hers worse is that he's choosing for himself and she's no, choosing for the child. What's choosing, what, no, it's worse because she's not only taking a father away. That's what the first one is doing. She's deciding the fate of a father. We're not looking at just what she's doing on both sides. She's doing something to the kid and the dad. She's choosing the dad's fate. Yep. The dad on the other situation chose his own fate. For you to take my kid from me and me to say, <coughs> I don't want to be a dad is Because I don't want to be with you. Okay, but at the end of the day, there's a flip side to every coin. I could say when the dad says, I don't want to be a part of the kid's life. That's affecting the child and the dad. Let me sit, let me speak. It might not be affecting the young, stupid ass, 20, 19, 21, 22, 23 year old dad who's don't really understand what life is about. But eventually They ain't got nothing to do with taking care of the kid at the age. Hold on. Can you listen? Go ahead. But eventually when you get to an age where you start respecting life, it starts affecting you as a dad. But at least he chose it for himself. But at the end of the day, so I'm just saying the flip side of the coin is that it still affects the dad and the child. You said with the girl, it affects the the dad and the child. Yeah, because, bro, to do something to yourself and have somebody do something to you is an obvious difference. Like, Mm -hmm. I made a decision to not be in my child's life. I did something dumb to myself for a woman to hold me from my child and make me look like it's like two different things. Okay, flip side to that. If 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 I said, Wallow, you're about to be a father, what would you rather be? Would you rather make the own decision? Not to be in your child's life? Or would you rather have a girl tell you, no, you can't be in the child's life? Which one you going to pick? She got to do it. I'm not going to tell my. Right. So at the end of the day. I'm never going to. We At the end myself, of the day, not, no we, nigga don't ever feel like I chose I ain't want to be in a little I mean. nigga life, so it's better that way. No, when a nigga is a father and you got kids 
and you know but that's you what he said, said bro but okay <laughs> you said that you would want the woman to choose right he'd rather be in a situation where he wanted to see his kid he rather want be, to I, I want to i'm not okay. walking away what i'm saying is you just said if a guy made his own decision Pretty much like that's better for him because he made. But if if I'm not going to see the kid, and I had two options on why I'm not going to see the kid, no man is ever going to say I ain't going to see the kid because I chose not to. They always would rather have it just for their personal conscience reasons. I don't see it because they don't let me see it. Because even if he didn't want to see it, now he get to lie to himself. I would, I would see my child if, if, if my, she, that bitch, you know that about that bitch, I, she don't let me see <laughs> no motherfucker. Me. Whole time, nigga, you ain't money, you ain't money dropping no money off or nothing, but it's just a w good way for you to be able to massage your ego. You feel what I'm Not saying? Not what you're saying, but we're saying which one is worse for the woman. But, which one, mm -hmm. which one are you going to choose? I <laughs> think both of them ain't shit. Yeah, you... I think both of them is equally tied. Because to me, to be a man who you're 100% sure that this child is yours, you ain't got no questions behind that shit. And for you to say, uh, I don't want to be a part of that, you the ultimate bitch-ass nigga. For a woman to be like, oh, you ain't. You ain't taking care of your kid. Oh, 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 you ain't gonna be with me. Uh, you can't see the child. I mean, I already kind of expect that shit from women mm -hmm. because y'all already emotional. Y'all emotional creatures. That's that's the part of the, the body that y'all was formed from. The rib, I believe. Y'all emotional creatures. So that's y'all already expect a woman to be like that. If her emotions is wrapped up into, into a guy like that. So it don't really i don't really be like oh yeah the bitch ain't shit she's definitely a bb a bum bitch for for trying to keep a nigga that want to be but for me it ain't no difference both of y'all some raggedy motherfuckers that's just how i look yeah. at i mean we both know they raggedy but we just trying to i'm just saying what's worse i'm saying both of them is equal he said the girl is worse. You uh, said yeah, the girl because is it's, worse. It's that with a son, with an extra thing on top yeah, of it. Yeah, both of them is worse, but I'm leaning to the woman more. Yeah, because it's got an extra piece on top. Yeah. Mm. Extra piece on top. Wow. Your mind is your mind is dirty, yo. Yo, yo, Cause mine yo, is yo, filthy. Yo, yo, yo. He's a this filthy, guy, man. filthy individual. <laughs> All right, let's get into who would you be, man. <laughs> Piece on with, top. With an extra piece on top. <laughs> His body's filthy. <laughs> hey, 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 let's get in, the, let's get in the, the, the segment of Who Would You Be? Who Would You Be is brought to you by? Bye. Listen, Who Would You Be is brought to you by? Have you had any good hair lately? No. So that means you need to get with everythingdivaglam.com and get your luxurious and glorious, make your soul glow. So glow. So glow. You didn't say with, with who they how to get with. I already said everything DivaGlam dot com. Oh. Goofy, <laughs> you goofball. You, you always box. let me tell you something about marketing and promotion. You, you always box. send it off with the number or, or the goofbox. The no, dot I, com. I do this. You don't do that. You, do do what you're doing over there. You always send it off with the dot com with a piece on top. Not with a piece <laughs> on top. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me ask oh, you a question. Shit. Who would you be? The guy who goes to jail. For three years, while you in jail, your woman on her job. What you mean? A she job. like she she she's taking <clears throat> the money that you have, and she's investing your money in different places and really turning your y'all shit up. You feel what I'm saying? Like on some on some financial shit. She's she's putting the work in. She's making y'all stock bigger. And then you come home after three years. And find out that while she was making you guys a stock bigger, niggas was making her cock bigger. What? Yeah, they was drilling her. <laughs> no, but that word, you gotta work, that word but is. old school cock. Cock is old school meaning for pussy. Yo, no, no, that, no, that, no, that no, 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 that's some Philly shit. They yeah. used to say cock, yo. Yeah. We used but, but, to be like, what the but, fuck, fuck Jersey? Because yeah. I had somebody come over from Philly and he was like, man. 
trying to get some cock tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We the whole and everybody was like, the oh, oh, fuck, nigga. Listen, <laughs> in, in the grand world, in the whole world, that is a bad word. That's not a, a oh well, Philly word. I know this is a Philly, Philly word. word. You gotta you gotta yeah. hook that up. That's game game yeah, must have been Philly in Philly because on one of his albums he said that like a bitch with some bomb ass cock. I said whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> that's like peace on top. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, why? Why she That's was crazy. making your money bigger? He was. They was making her tummy bigger, <laughs> so they could dicks all in her stomach. All right, go ahead. <laughs> all right. Are you going to take it on the chin and be like, "Fuck it"? I was locked up. She was doing her thing. She got us financially right. I ain't. I ain't. I ain't mad at it because she did a little thing on the side. I'm home now. We straight. Or is you going to be like? Um, bitch, I'm gone. Let me give you some game on this. I'm out. If you ever go to prison, mm. you got to share your chick. That's the reality of it. Number okay. one, and and this girl, she's extraordinary. I like this. I like this chick that he's talking about. Due to the fact of what's important is this: when you go to jail, three things usually happen. What? Number one, she's going to fuck. Mm -hmm. But the reality of most dudes. She's fucking, your money's going, and she's leaving. Mm -hmm. So she only got one out of three. <laughs> mm. Bingo, jackpot, you came up. Mm. Yeah. I'm, keep, I'm keeping my bitch. So you keeping mm. her? What, I'm keeping her? Okay. Nah. She's getting slated? Nah. Okay. Nope. Okay. Now, because if she fucking with my drug money, that means that we was a part of this thing together. It's it ain't one thing, had to be no drug money. It could have been some she, regular she no, no, well, money. Oh, okay. I because went, she could have ran away. I, I, I just said that because I went to prison. I went to prison. She could have ran she away. She fucking with my money. If she was down with me with whatever crime I was doing, we was in it together, then we do the bid together. Now, what bid? What? No, no, ain't no, no women doing no, no bid together. I feel you. Listen to what I'm history. saying. I'm saying if we was doing something together. Now, if I was just knuckleheading and my girl is like, babe, get out the streets. What are you doing? Da, 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 the whole time. And then I go and get locked. Then I expect that move. But if you was in the enterprise with me. Let me explain something to you. I just got to. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can go I, ahead. Get I your got, shit off. This is a public service announcement. Public service announcement. Hi. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, yeah, you, you know who I'm talking to. All the ladies out there. Yeah. That's my radio voice. Yeah. I wish y'all could be right here with me so you could tell this guy, Dev, that your your baby father, your husband, your boyfriend, he's in jail right now. And more than likely, you're sitting on the couch with the dude that's slaying you and spraying you. The reality is, I don't care who you are. If you go to jail, she's getting slayed and sprayed, rather she was wooded or wasn't. That's the reality of this. I don't like me. I don't believe that they would sit there and not get and not get power drive. You know, power drive. That's the reality. That's cool. Jail. Okay, so I'm not cool like, with like, so, Do you so. think? How about this? If you went to jail for two years, mm. if she went to jail for two years, you're going to be out here playing, shaking the dice. Is you going to be out? Listen, listen. Is you going to be out here shaking <laughs> yes. the dice? Yes. <laughs> he know he know the answer, especially if we was if you we was having shaking the dice. Yes. We was making the dice. I'm saying, I'm saying, <laughs> yes. I'm saying we was I'll making the bread off together. Let me say something to you. I tear this I, dick up. That's a part of the ceiling with that nut. <laughs> that's a part of my life anyway. So only you could believe that I would. I'll be shaking the dice. No, 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 don't try to no, 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 don't try to back your way about this. You bitch ass nigga. bitch ass nigga. Nigga, you already know my answer. Hey, hold on, wait, wait, hold on. He gonna just tell on himself and then then realize he told on himself, try to reverse it. So Abel, just know you. Go to jail, you're gonna be fucking up breaks off these bitches. <laughs> Just know that. And, and listen, have you had a good listen, head lately? Listen, at least, at least, right here, have you had any good head lately? <laughs> have you had any? <laughs> hey, listen. Just know April don't catch no fucking cases. You hear me? And it, it, but but she, April can't be mad because just know if you catch a little violation, she, she can get a dick or two on the side. That's right? what you said. You cool no, with it? You, that's what you said. Hold on. Long as April keep getting that money, get that listen, money, listen, baby. Listen, listen. Long as you ain't, long as you only one out of three on the list. <laughs> Get that money. <laughs> fuck that. I come on, get fucked. I don't get fucked. Oh, man. Yeah. Shit. Selling more shirts. Let me always, tell you there's something. always dick in Philadelphia. Let me <laughs> 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 it's always what balls in Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 nigga, sit right here. You mean to tell me your woman do two years? You you ain't getting no pussy. <laughs> no, I'm like this. No. I'm saying like, the like, no. fuck is this a setup? Like, Yo. The fuck is he talking? About? This nigga just <laughs> said the nigga working hey. with six nine. Hey. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, 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 I got to ask my motherfucking camera guy, B-Rock. 
Yo. B Rock, what the fuck was this a setup? <laughs> this nigga talking about your woman get two years. You ain't getting no pussy. No. Um, <laughs> oh no. my god. Mm -mm. No, I'm not. Nigga. I'm going to throw my dick in the headlock. <laughs> yeah, me fuck, yeah. fuck wrong with him. Oh, man. Try to set me and Dev the fuck Yo, up. Man. Try to get Dev uh, stabbed tonight. Oh, shit, yeah. <laughs> fuck yeah them Latino women don't play. Mm -mm. Fuck is wrong with him. Oh, shit. Oh, First of all, let me just tell you this. Oh, man. <laughs> I've been with Tootie for um decades. Forever. You mean to tell me I go to jail? Bitch, you can't do 700 days without no dick. I don't give a fuck how much money you made. What is? What if you got to do 70, 7,300 days like I did? The, then uh, that's something different. Yeah. We, you said two years, though. Oh, yeah, you're right. You said two years, nigga. That's 700 days. Two can't go 700 days without no fucking dick. Huh? <laughs> Many motherfucking nights I got to argue <laughs> about getting some pussy. <laughs> you can't go 700 days without some dick. You think I'm going to come <laughs> home? You think I'm going to come home? Because let's be for real. A nigga, a, nigga, a nigga get my bitch, he a legend. You think I'm going to come home to was out here getting glazed down by motherfucking... Wave cap Dave? Right. And, and then, oh, oh, you back. No, no, no the fuck I ain't. <laughs> He'd rather come home with the house in foreclosure before... Okay, you're <laughs> fucking right. <laughs> Don't give a fuck about you. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. But, but how the, let me tell you something. Why the fuck I give a fuck about you flipping my stacks and a nigga flipping you on your back? <laughs> the fuck is wrong? Fuck type of... <laughs> fuck wrong with you. I ain't one of them niggas. I'm in jail. Suck all the dicks you want till I get back home. And then we, no, no, no. I'm one of them niggas who... I just got the motherfuckers. I just came through the jail. <laughs> You out there fucking, you out there fucking with Delaware Donnie, huh? <laughs> Delaware Dave. You out there fucking with Delaware Donnie, huh? With the motherfucking bands truck. <laughs> All right, Fat Mike. With okay, the, cool. With the bands. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm one of them niggas. Don't put no more money on my book. <laughs> I'm, I'm done. good. <laughs> I'm you good. Done. Don't put no more fucking money on my books. I'm good. Now, what you doing? You're, you no, staying. I'm not I'm with it. Man, you nigga, out of you your staying. fucking mind. Ain't Man, no way. fucking woman he, run you. He you staying. Out, he nigga. out of his fucking mind. <laughs> we already know Lowe's staying. I don't even stand. Lowe could go home. April could be laid in the bed with a nigga. No, he, he, he lying. That Lowe ain't I'm going out. nowhere. Lowe ain't out. going nowhere. Listen, listen. April talked to that nigga like this. Shut up, nigga. Get in the bed. <laughs> he ain't never seen no shit like lay that. Lay on the other side. You should have <laughs> saw Tootie. Listen, Tootie told this nigga one time. She told him to lay next to the nigga. <laughs> Move over, John. Move over. <laughs> he just told on himself. He gonna do what she want. Nah, listen, 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 this nigga because he basically shit. said, long as she flipping the money, she goes. April always be getting money. She listen, be getting money. Right, she was twelve. Got to get a bigger bed. And fit they said let April let sold up for first motherfucking listen, wig when she was twelve. <laughs> no, she, she was actually she was actually ten and a half. Listen, yeah. let me explain something to you. I come in the crib one my time. seat was there. I Yo, why, did you, why did you see like just like a drop bitch, like that? A little person. Hold it. Push it up. Let me, hold the button. On <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a nut. But listen, why, well, that shit looked crazy. He looked like a little person, didn't he? He looked like a little person. <laughs> Nigga, the pop tracks. <laughs> Fucked up. Come on, that's man. Pop, cuz, yo, cuz, <laughs> yo, cuz, they fucked up. <laughs> that's your cousin, nigga, 4'11. One time, listen. One time, I, one time, listen, listen, listen. One time, I come in the crib, Gene is sounding this nigga. I, it was so funny, I almost fell out. But first, I, 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 you, you know what's crazy about me? Like, him and Gene got a way of, uh, they just like, they fuck up my whole privacy. Like, they just, you know, I come to their crib, because they got to, like, like, I utilize their bathroom a lot. I like to go in there. They in there gang warning and shit. I'm like, hold up, man. If y'all don't shut the fuck up, like. And, well, don't and, but, come into my listen, motherfucker house right tell me what to do, nigga. Because listen, I got a routine. I go right in there and lace the toilet up. I already know what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. Right. We you know you lace. pornos. No, I don't. So in I go, another nigga's so bathroom. I go there, so, so I go in there. And I just be laughing because Gina say some of the craziest shit. And the way she say it is like her vocal tone, the way she pulled to say it, it sounds so crazy and squarish. She be like, you're just a clown. Shut up. I'm like, damn. <laughs> He like you're just gonna call me a clown. I'm like, I'm like yeah, you're a fucking clown. I'm hollering through the door. Hey. She be checking him. Hey man, let me tell you something. She man. checked the fuck out hey, of him. Everybody know I lick now, it down now, and dick it down. Now what we ready to do is that's why. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me let me let me give you the, the rules of engagement with women. When you lick them down and you dick them down, stick them down and you stick them down. Guess what? 
They stick around. <laughs> Fuck is wrong with you? And that <laughs> right there. Look, my, 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 look at my care of a guy. He like yeah. that. Whatever. He like that. I'm going to use that shit. He over there writing shit. I'm going to use that. You be stealing when we spilling, b rock. He said, when you lick him down and you dick him down, them bitches stick around. He was like, yeah, he texted. He like, damn. He like, say that again? Text your shit. But now we're going to get into stories from the cell. I'm about 10 days out from ready to come on. So the reality hit, I'm talking to my counselor, yeah, you got this, he's showing me, telling me my stuff that's going on, you ready to? My homeboy was like, meet me in the yard, I said, I'm gonna meet you, I'm see you, I'll see you later on. I ain't go. I go in the cell and I realize after all this time being in prison that I'm actually really ready to go home. I'm realizing this shit is real, I'm scared to death. Like I'm talking about I'm fucking, I'm fucking scared because now it's like, I'm ready to go into the unknown. Yeah, I had the cell phone in jail. I seen things. I know got an idea what I want. But you don't really know because when you walking out of prison after doing all them years, it's like you got to show and prove now. And I ain't got no problem with doing that. I, I never used drugs, never drunk, so I ain't had that issue. But it's the issue of you got the world. It's like it's like it's so much looking at you. It's so much coming your way. You trying to understand society. You got to get back out here. You got, you know, you saying to yourself, I got to get a job. I got to get a place to stay. Even though I was staying at my grandma's house, this is like, it's so much shit coming your way. Your family look to you. You know what I mean? It's, it's like, you, you just trying to figure it all out. So it's like, what the fuck? You know, you got an idea of what you want to do, but being in jail so much, it's easier to have thoughts in jail and not really know, because you're just looking at TV, you listening to what people are telling you, but you're not on the landscape. You, you don't fucking know. Like, you just be like, you know, and you telling people, you, you know, you talk to people in jail, you know, you, I don't know if you ever had a jail call, motherfucker got it all figured out in jail. Yeah. Everything figured out. It's easy to have shit figured out when you get three hots in the cot. You ain't pay electric bill in 30 years. Yeah. You ain't pay no bills. You know what I mean? Might pay a cable bill in your cell, that's it. Mm -hmm. So you just saying, damn. And then you come out here, and shit is totally different than what you expected. You're like, damn, everything looking small. Because in prison, you're in big ass areas, big, big day rooms, big yards, big ass blocks. So when you go to the house, you're like, damn, this the block I grew up on. This shit's small as shit. Everything is small. Everything is cramped in. And you're going out there and you're just trying to figure it out. You're trying to understand what's going on. The lingo is different, the dress code is different. There's a lot of shit that's just different. And a lot of people just be out of touch. But my main thing was scared of. I was scared of who I was popping his head up again and coming back. You know, you cause you you know, all my life I've been in I've been in I've been in, in, in the system. I always did crime. It never was a time when I was out of prison for a year in my life since I since I first got locked up at eleven. I never was out of jail for a whole year until now. Like I always so it's like ah, it's like you just please, you know. So now I'm battling with myself, like, you gotta chill. I thought you was gonna say you was gonna, the main thing you was gonna be scared of was you couldn't find no porn DVDs where you got. <laughs> <laughs> that was an issue too. I wanted, I wanted the VHS for nostalgia reasons, you know right? I mean? You know what I mean? Because that's you, you're not you can't really say. Let's say they the got the internet because yeah, just, I know you can finally watch it with the volume all the yeah, way up, all the way up. <laughs> by myself, baby doll down. But listen, the whole twist was this. The whole twist was this. At the end of the day, you really be scared. So I'm coming home. It hit me when I got to Nanny House. My brother was, you know, because I, I I never, I always escaped the, re, I, I never embraced the reality that my brother was, because I didn't go to the funeral. I could have went, but so it was like, I'm dealing with that shit and I got so much. And all my fears <coughs> helped me be more creative because I would walk the streets at nighttime. Like I get up like four o'clock. The night I, walker. Listen, and I just go out, have my, and I walk, bro. And I'd be, and, and then that's how the, it just came. The videos just came. Cause I was feeling something, but it was like it was so hard for me, because I'm trying to understand this world, this new world. And I'm seeing people, and, and then I, and it was so fucked up. I'm seeing people that I was in jail with. They out here, they right back in, they stagnated, they in the same joint, they doing the same shit they was doing. I'm talking about dudes that I did ten years, twenty, and you like, what the fuck? I don't want to be him. How many times you touch your nose a day? Oh, my nose. I probably retrieve boogies. Uh, oh, come on. Probably about. I don't know. That nigga it, just did this shit 11 times. No, no, he, you know, because he's constantly picking, but he's disgusting. That nigga like this. The hair in my nose. That nigga like this. Trim so, that joint, bro. <laughs> I don't know. 
right. Yo, now, now, putting a wiping boogies on people yeah, is a yeah, whole nother level. Shit that's gonna get you in here with some fucking glasses. That on, gets bro. you stabbed. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he was, boogies. You would stab somebody by boogies. Yeah, you fucking yeah, that's right. like yeah, spitting that's on you. Know what? These stories to sell. It's going too much. He's he he went straight to jail on me. No, no, no. Think about it. Boogies on me. Right, right. That's gonna get you them glasses. I'm trying to tell you, dog. I ain't worried about that shit. Fuck is you talking about? But but the whole thing is like. A lot of people got to understand when your family come home from jail, they be scared to death. You think it's the expectation? Like nobody it's expects a lot of nothing? Expe- yeah. It's a lot of expectation of you because you didn't talk all this shit on these phone calls forever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be the shit out there. Listen, because a dude to call home from jail, yeah, listen, a dude to call from jail, they be, be like, yeah, you know, uh, Bobby and them, they got the lamp, they got the uh, new Benz. They are like, no, they ain't nothing. I'm ready to get a Lamborghini. Yeah. He be like, <laughs> niggas promising like, their kids stuff. When I get home, it's gonna be me, you, and mommy. We gonna have the house. I'm gonna get the niggas, job. Niggas tell, look, look, niggas telling Keisha and them, listen, uh, yeah. When I get home, uh, I'm marrying you. All type of <laughs> shit. You, you realize you ain't got no money to pay for a ring when you get. So it's a lot of shit that goes on. So you come home and dudes be scared to death. And, and I'm gonna keep it all the way real to all the women out there. These niggas that be in jail, they run game. Wallow ran game on a 63 year old woman. He like lying that him, he fucking down. lying. He's lying. You, you know you're 63 year old woman. Lying, held lying you like the fuck crazy. down in that This nigga lying like crazy. But I'm gonna say this. <laughs> he told her. He told her he was gonna get her pregnant. He was gonna have kids together. This then bitch he, can't have then kids. He came home <laughs> she just got that game. Oh, no, no, listen. <laughs> and, then, and then he came home and she took the panties off. He seen that doctor. J. Gray Bush. <laughs> <laughs> this man lying on me, but I will say this, man. I was I, I ain't gonna front. I ain't one of these dudes to front. I, you know, and uh, I represent a lot of dudes coming out of the jail and in that system. It would have you scared coming home because you just don't know. And that's why a lot of people come here, come home, and they panic and they, go, and they jump right back because they like, oh, I don't want to slip. Yeah. I got to get some money real quick. I got because, fam- I got family that stay in jail because I feel as though they're more comfortable. Yeah, it's and like or you said, or, or your cousin got a nigga in there. Yeah, that too. That's, that's another mean, story. On, uh, uh, peace on top. <laughs> <laughs> that's my fault. He, he, he always had peace. peace no, wow. No, why no, is no, that? Why? No, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm fucking around. <laughs> but, but the whole thing is like this. A lot of people got to understand something that's very important. You're not who you was. So you'll be in there thinking the life that you once lived, you took a lot of chances before you got when you got that money. and all. It, it, it's not that time, no time. Times change. Laws change. People change. It get more violent. You're not going. So stop, you know, stop and just... Give your people the benefit of the doubt that they scared and they don't know. You see what I'm saying? And I was a scared in the mother. Let me, let me just ask y'all this question before we get out of here, before we wrap this up. Who's your most underrated rapper of all time? Prodigy. Prodigy was an underrated. Uh, I, I say Fat Joe. Fat Joe, yeah, he's a gat. He's definitely a gun. Mm-hmm. Fat Joe was a gun. You got a flow, Joe. I listened to him from the beginning. He's yeah. from the, when he first came. And he the, always come back with something. It's, it's like. He killed that who shot you too. Who shot you? He he fucked that up. He always came back, stayed with the time, never sounded out of place. He, Gil was one of my uh, most underrated rappers too. He wasn't. He didn't get the respect he wanted. He I mean, I, I mean, that's a agreeable. No, but only reason because because he was doing good. But once Lil Wayne started writing his raps, that's when things changed. <laughs> Wayne actually, I, listen, I'm gonna tell you. I called him from jail one time. He was like, "Yeah, I said, damn, that joint sound nice." He said, "Yeah, me and Wayne be writing together." I said, "Writing together." <laughs> hmm. So no, he wrote that one joint. I said, okay, I knew it because mm. they had a little Wayne flavor, it had a little south, down south flavor to it. Ah. Little yeah, Wayne wrote the shit. Mm. That's it. Yeah, oh, thank you everybody for tuning in. Me, 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 me. He did. He wrote his shit. Wayne wrote. Wayne wrote Gil shit. That's. I mean, a lot of people don't know. I know he shit. He wrote. A, he wrote a couple of things. I know shit. People don't know. He waited. He, did, he wrote his some, shit. On some real shit. He wrote. Get down on the ground. And I'm gonna keep it all the way real. My, <laughs> my most underrated rapper of all time is Baby. Without a doubt. I'm out of here. Bro, I'm leaving. Yo, yo, I'm fucking leaving. This nigga is an asshole, yo. This nigga is a fucking asshole. He's trying to play with me. I'm, I'm out, man. Thank y'all for tuning in to Big Eyes with a Gabe, making us number one each and every week. I go by the name of Gilly the King. I'm Wallow267. And it's just like that. Right. <laughs>